Good morning to Reddit engineers and expertise. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. And this is the Reddit Certificate of Expertise in a High Availability Clustering Video Course. My name is Bruce Malauzi and I'll be your instructor throughout this video course. This is module one and I have a scenario for you and me to do. And I'll call this scenario one. So in this scenario, I have three Reddit machines. Uh, we'll start off with three machines. All three machines belong to the example.com. And the example.com belongs to the 192.168.15.0 slash 24 subnet. The first machine, its host name is server1.example.com. And that's its IP address and its alias is server1. The second machine is server2.example.com and its IP address and its alias. The third machine is ipaserver.example.com, its IP address and its alias is IPA server. Please note that the IPA server will act as a central server that will be serving uh, central resources such as YAM repository on the dedication. DNS or name resolution, mail server, and so forth. In this scenario, um, we'll kick off by creating a 10 gig logical volume. That logical volume must be uh, named as my data. The my data logical volume should belong to the uh, volume group named big data. So obviously, these names will have no quotations and this volume or can I say this logical volume will be created on IPA server.example.com machine after doing that in the same machine the IPA server.com uh, sorry in the IPA server.example.com we will configure the iSCSI target thereby creating the target to use the my data uh, logical volume and then we will assign the iSCSI block name of shared drive. So the iSCSI target name will also be named as iqn.2017-02.example.com and the target name is iqn.2017-02.example.com colony cluster. Obviously, these names will have no quotations. We'll then assign uh, server1.example.com and server2.example.com as iSCSI initiators. And then we will try to log in to the iSCSI target. Once we are logged in, we are required to create a high, a high availability cluster that will be available for the example.com domain and this high availability cluster will have two nodes those two nodes that will participate in this cluster are server1.example.com and server2.example.com uh, the cluster will be named as my cluster without codes we will then use authentication to join the cluster and we are required to use the password of Reddit also without quotations. Please note that the iSCSI share should be 100% available in case of server 1 fails or server 2 fails at any given time. And please remember all the configurations must be persistent. So this is our scenario and in the next um, in the next video we will start doing our work so we'll do it step by step start by uh, configuring our logical volumes after that we we'll create our SCSI target then we we'll create our SCSI initiator and we install and configure the um, high availability services and join the two cluster nodes which is server 1 and server 2 and then everything we do we need to make sure that we uh, we do uh, permanent changes 
so i'd like to thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye for now